Hi YouTube, so it's been a few days since um, I've seen you guys and you've seen me and that's because I just got back home from school and um, I kind of felt the need to wait a few days um, before I filmed anything because part of it was just I needed to relax, I needed to take a breather and catch up on rest and what's behind me? Oh, catch up on, you know, rest and um, just spend time with my family and another is like I just couldn't bring myself to come on here and talk about makeup or beauty things or clothes when something so horrible happened in Connecticut that we all are aware of. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to do it and so I've just been like, you know, spending the time alone to like think about what's happened and um, really just spend time with my family and treasure them because obviously we don't know when or how long we're going to have them for and it's just really important to me so um, I spent the time with my mom and um, with my grandparents but I felt, you know, in order to cheer myself up and maybe cheer you guys up, make these videos because you guys seem to enjoy them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, Right now, before you guys watch this, take a minute to, you know, go and, like, give someone you love a big hug or just, like, text them or call them and say you love them because it's just life is so precious and our time is so precious and a lot of us just don't have enough of it. And those kids, they definitely didn't have enough life, um, have enough time, you know, when it just wasn't really unfortunate. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just, um really upset by it. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say at the beginning of this video was just my reasoning why and um, to, you know, tell you guys don't don't forget to tell the people you love that you love them because sometimes we just don't, we don't have enough time here. Even the, if you live to be 102, you still don't have enough time. So I don't know, take that as you will. But I have a thrift store haul. Um, I feel like that's sort of funny to like talk about all these meaningful things and then now I get to talk about something super materialistic, but that's okay. Um, it's something I enjoy and you guys seem to enjoy and obviously I like clothes and fashion and it makes me happy, so um, I'm going to share with you some things that I've gotten over the last few weeks. Um, it's a pretty big haul because I've gone a little crazy. Hopefully my lighting stays pretty good. Um, I'm in front of my window, but things can get funny. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started. What do I start with? Okay, I'm just going to grab stuff next to me. They're not in any particular order. Everything that I got is from Goodwill. Um, Goodwill or like the local thrift store, you know, any anywhere like that. So nothing is too expensive. There's only one item I spent, no, two items I spent kind of a lot on, um, but I'll explain. Um, so the first is, um, I, wish, I wish I had the time and stuff to do a whole styling video around these, but if you want to see maybe like my winter necessity, like how to style my winter favorites or something like that, let me know and I'll do that video very soon. But first of all, um, I got this blazer and I told myself that the next time I saw a blazer that was black but had the white lining around it, I was going to get it. And I did because this one fits perfectly. Um, it was amazing. It even has someone's name on it. Apparently this belonged to Gloria, so thank you Gloria for donating it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I really like that blazer a lot. It needs to be ironed. Hi, Soph. Hi, baby. You gonna come up here and climb on all my clothes? There she is. <laughs> um, next item is I got a lot of outerwear. I tend to buy a lot of outerwear because at school that's what I wear most of. There's a lot of different types of outerwear because it keeps me warm or not too warm or outerwear is the best. Um, but this is a little sweater sweater thing. It's one of those kind of carpet material jackets. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll, if you've like seen one before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's obviously long sleeve and it has this really amazing, um, sort of vintage feel like Americana pattern on it. Very patriotic, but not too in your face, which I really liked. Um, it's very subtle and I loved the collar on it. And it's pretty cropped. Um, yeah, this is just super cute. I really like this. Um, may end up selling it. I'm planning on selling some of my clothes at a flea market or who knows, maybe eventually make an online store. But um, 
for now I'm just planning on wearing that and if I ever get tired of it then I'm gonna sell it but yeah next item I just thought this was too nice to leave this is gonna be very different than everything I've pretty much hauled that it's like from the thrift store or whatever I don't know why it needed quotation marks um, but it was just too nice to leave it's this royal blue maybe not cobalt blue there we go top a little bit higher in the front than in the back and it has this cutouts along the front thought this was just too nice to leave behind it's in perfect condition um, I don't like it on me but I'm either gonna give it to my mom if she likes it or my friend Stephanie so I don't think Stephanie watches my videos so hopefully not but if you I have to show you that is my pile of clothes Sophie that's what she's sitting on top of what a brat. Anyway, she moved. <laughs> She's a little camera shy, apparently. Um, next, from Goodwill, I got this cardigan. Now, you guys may have, during the summer, seen me haul another crochet cardigan, but that one, I've decided, is a little bit too big, so I'm going to sell it. Um, but this one is a little bit different, and the pattern's a little bit different. You could refer to that other video if you'd like. Um, but this pattern's a little bit different. The sleeves are a little bit shorter, and the bottom has like the little tassels hanging off the bottom. I love this. You can see it worn in some of my outfits of the week. I love that. Um, and it fits a lot better than the other one I have. Oh, and my hair is straight for the first time in like a month because I got it trimmed today. You're not going to see it straight again probably in a long time. But, sorry, I have like hiccups or something. But I got it trimmed to get the ends looking good. Um... So it feels kind of short to me, and it feels very thin, and it's weird, but that's okay. Um, oh, I guess I should say, the shirt I'm wearing underneath this right now, I, I bought recently at Goodwill too, it has a stain on it, so... And I didn't buy it with a stain on it, I dripped soup on it today at Costco, because they served me a sample with, um, of tomato basil soup with a spork. So, like, it has places where stuff can drip, so it, it did drip. Um, that's what this is. But it's just really high neckline. It's like a thick sweater. It's three quarter length, um, striped top. Um, yeah, nothing too special about it, but it's really warm and a lot of my striped tops are very thin. So I liked this one a lot. Uh, next top um, is something I already did a little DIY cutting on. Um, let me, shoot, let me like button this up a little bit. So I cut it and now it's cropped and I like it a lot better. Um, and it's just this floral button-up sleeveless top, so I cut the bottom off of it. Um, and it's really cute. I love that it has the two different floral prints. Um, looks really good with high-waisted anything, and I like it a lot. Sophie, Jesus. Um, next top is a mess. Why did I not fix these before I showed them? I can do this, I swear. Um, but this top I thought was perfect for holidays and just, you know, winter time and it's really cute and I dyed over the collar. So it is this long sleeve button up and the collar looks like it has, oh, it's ribbon on it, but it almost gives like the illusion of like a double collar. It's not. Um, and the buttons are really, really cute. Um, I've already worn this a few times. I love it. I think it's so flattering. Um, looks really, really nice and classy. So I love this a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Um, this looks very not, I don't even know what to say, like maybe not fashionable, but I like to sometimes delve into the style of what I call hobo chic. Um, Victoria and I do this a lot at school, and it's essentially just wearing very um, baggy, like oversized, maybe worn looking stuff, but still looking really cute. Um, and this fits perfectly in it, and I had to buy it because it has owls on it. You guys, I'm dying. It has this kind of furry textured collar on it, like that. Um, but let you see this? Owl. The back of it, big owl. So cool. So it's just basically long sleeve button up, um, oversized jacket. I can't even show you exactly what it looks like. Maybe I'll style this so you can trust me and see that it looks really cute on, actually. But it's it's adorable. I love it. Oh, I'm like out of breath. Um, next item. This is the item that I spent a lot on. Um, and I, I mean, I say a lot like it's 
the end of the world, but I spent more than I ever really would at a thrift store. Um, usually I never go above like $7 for an item because it's just, you can find stuff for not that expensive at thrift stores. So spending any more than that is like painful, but this I fell in love with. Um, it kind of, the style kind of reminds me of maybe like a members only jacket or um, maybe like varsity style jacket, but this one is real leather, it's suede or whatever, um, and I just love this. <laughs> I spent $20 on it, you guys. 20 bucks. But it's it's real. I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell exactly what it looks like. But it's essentially one of those kind of varsity style, except um, and the, just in the fact that it's like the one material and then it's got like the stretchy ends of the sleeve, the stretchy collar bit, and then the stretchy bottom. Um, but it is really, really cute. I wish. Can I like lean back? This is what it looks like. Oh, in my face. Um... Maybe I should do like a styling video so you can see that a little bit better. Um, since it's just a haul, I'm not going to worry about it, but um, I just really, really like that jacket. I could not leave it. Like, it was one of those things where I'm looking at it and staring and I'm like, I don't need it, I don't need it, but I ended up leaving with it. Um, next is a cardigan. Oh god, I have so much outerwear, this is a problem. Next is a cardigan that I'm in love with. Lately I've been really wanting more plaid things because I don't have anything. I'm in, like, mainly the red, black, and white colors of plaid in the... whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, and so I picked up this cardigan. You've seen it featured in my um, Outfits of the Week if you've watched that. It has the little gold buttons. Really cute. This thing is warmer than a lot of my big, thick coats and jackets. So, I mean, don't underestimate the power of a good cardigan because this is so warm. It's so warm. My sun is going away. Good thing I'm almost done. Okay. Last but not least for clothing. No, I'm going to show that last last. I have something that's hanging because I already know I'm going to sell it, but hair in my mouth. Okay. I already know I'm going to sell it, but I still want to show it to you because I bought it. This is hanging right now and it still even has the tags on it. I just know I just couldn't leave it and I know that this could probably pick up or sell for a pretty, uh, pretty penny at a flea market, so I picked it up, um, and it's this sort of style jacket. It's got kind of like the Titan bottom, the Titan sleeves, and then the really amazing crochet detail on it. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing jacket, but I just don't think I'll wear it enough to justify keeping it. So I only bought it for a few dollars. I think I can make a little bit of a profit off of it. Um, not very much, obviously, but a little profit, and someone is going to love this, so I'm really excited. I may wear it once just because it's so, so cool, and I, like, am sad that I'm going to sell it, but at the same time, it's just silly for me to keep something if I know I'm not going to wear it that much. Last clothing piece I found today, and I'm amazed by, and I'm just so in love with it. You're not even going to be able to see it very well because it's so long. Um, it's a coat. Yeah, it's like impossible to see, but it's a really long coat, um, and it has these toggle buttons down the front, and it has a hood, and this front part is like green and blue, but then on the arms it's got this red and um, mustardy yellow color. Oh, the sun is going away. Can I sit on this side and show you? Maybe you can see it a little bit better. I don't know. I'll have to do a styling video so you can see this, but it's amazing. It's like a color blocked coat. It's 100% wool. Um, well, the lining isn't wool, but the outside of it is completely wool, and I paid five dollars for it today. So um, I needed a winter coat, like a real winter coat that's gonna be super, super warm, and I love that. So awesome find. One pair of shoes. Um, I'm sort of, sort of dying over. I. I just can't even believe I found these. I guess I should finish up pretty quickly because my light is going away and I just have the bathroom light like awkwardly on me now. Um, I'm trying to fix these buckles. Um, but I was at Goodwill the other night and I found these shoes and they looked so small but I decided to try them on anyway and they fit me. Um, I think they're five in men's. Um, so don't ever be afraid to try on men's shoes. Um, but they are these. They are Harley Davidson. Um, like authentic riding boots. They have the buckle that goes across the front. They have the little peggies, you know, 
wrap the laces around. They're awesome. Um, super worn. Oh, they're just... I'm dying over these. They're like my new favorite shoes. They have a steel toe, which is awesome. They're not going to fall apart when I'm walking to class. And they can survive rain and stuff. So I always look for boots like this that are going to su survive campus because oh, campus can be so hard on shoes and rain and all that stuff. And I'm not going to fall on my ass because they have the grips. So that's awesome. So because my black Chelsea boots, I've almost fallen in those. But these, there's no way. They're like fall proof. They're like Veronica proof. So love those. I think I paid $5 for them. So so good. Two more things. I'm actually going to show you this. My mom's already seen this. It's part of her Christmas present, but I bought this today. It's a genuine leather little bag. Um, super, super cute. So this is actually my mom's. Um, and like I said, she was with me. She like picked it out. Um, it's really, really light. So that's what she likes about it is that it's really light and easy to carry around. And it was awesome. So part of your Christmas present. So Merry Christmas, mom. What else did I get? Oh, for me, this quarter I'm taking not any classes that are like textbook focused or textbook heavy. A lot of them are just normal reading books and a journal and stuff like that. So I found this satchel, um, and it's just a genuine leather satchel. Paid like $4 for it, I think. And, um, you know, pockets, normal thing, but it's pretty large. Um, and it fits well, it's cross body or just, you know, on one shoulder. Really, really cute. It needs to be wiped down, but that's about it. And I thought this would be perfect for class instead of always bringing a backpack. If I don't need to bring a lot to class, this will fit everything. So yeah, I just really liked this a lot. And last but not least, this is the last item. And this is the item that I spent the most on, but you'll understand why. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know I got this, but um, I'm just going to want to share it with you because you guys are my friends, and I know that sounds cheesy because everyone says that, but... Um, you guys are, and I'm showing you something that's like a new endeavor of mine. Um, I purchased a flute at the uh, flea market. This is an Armstrong. Um, so obviously, instrument is going to be a little more expensive, but I got it for a very good deal. And this is what it looks like. I'm just so happy. It's like my baby. Um, I don't really know how to do anything too intensive. Oh, background. I used to play flute when I was in elementary school, so I remember not anything. Um, so I'm, I'm, my new goal is to learn how to play the flute again because I remember really loving it. Um, it's unfortunate that I quit when I did, but I was a kid. Um, this is what it looks like all put together. I can play a few notes, but I don't want to get lipstick all over, but I know how to hold it. I know how to play... I know how to play a few notes. G, and what is it, G, A, C, B, yeah, I don't know, I'm really proud though, I'm just really excited about it, it needs a little bit of a tune up, but it's beautiful, um, I'm really happy, so this was my Christmas present pretty much from my mom, so thank you mom, um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked the haul. And I know you guys always like my thrift store haul, so I've, I'm trying to film every time I get, you know, some more items. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you really, really soon. I hope you all are blah, 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 having a wonderful um, day, and I hope, you know, those of you who are on Christmas break are enjoying it. I'm going to go practice my flute and watch The Dark Knight Rises with my mom. Not at the same time, but I'm going to do both of those things. And, um... Yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.